What's good, y'all? Al King here. I'm about to share some real talk with y'all after y'all hear from Willie D. What's up, family? The White House and Congress agreed to a $2.2 trillion stimulus package to bail out the American economy from its free fall as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. It was expected. They agreed eagerly to pay up. What I want to know, family, is how in the hell did they come up with so much money so quickly when they have repeatedly stalled attempts to broach the topic of reparations for descendants of slaves? Forget the legislation for a minute to offer financial payouts to descendants of slaves in America. These clowns can't even agree to legislation to form a committee to study what reparations would even look like. Hmm. This lets you know, family, this is proof positive. Right. The stimulus package mm -hmm. is proof positive mm -hmm. that they could pay reparations mm -hmm. if they wanted to. If they wanted to. Come on with it. The bottom line is that they don't want to. That's right. They're trying to get something for nothing. That's right. They feel justified in what America did to black people. Mm hmm America is cool with everybody else receiving reparations. They're cool with the Jews receiving reparations for what they went through. The Japanese receiving reparations for what they went through. Yep. The Native Americans receiving reparations for what they went through. Hell, yep. even recently, they paid reparations to Afghanistan and Iraq. Mm-hmm. You telling me they can't pay reparations to the people who built this country? If not us, then who? Mm -hmm. We deserve just as much, if not more prosperity than anybody in this country. We built it. Mm -hmm. Make no mistake. Everything else came later. All of the other building and all that stuff came later. It was black people who made America rich. That's right. Off our back. America got rich and became powerful off the backs That's right. of slaves. Mm -hmm. Black slaves. Mm -hmm. This country owed black people reparations. That's right. Period. Now, y'all can see that. Y'all heard it. Um, and anybody who listens to me or follows me, especially on Facebook, you know I've been talking about ADOS. Um, I've been on Twitter with the ADOS movement and getting it in because it's real. And the reality is I've, I've been a voter my entire life from when I've been allowed to vote. And the reality is it's true. Neither political party serves our interests. But we vote democratically, faithfully. And I'm going to be real with y'all. In 2016, I voted for HRC. I didn't like her. It was the better of two evils. And we ended up with this punk mother... Okay, I'm, I'm going to try to keep it clean. We ended up with this old punk MF <laughs> Trump running the country. And it's why we all on quarantine right now. Because of a couple of things. Number one, racism. Racism put this punk in office. They were upset at having a black man in the White House. And that's when the Tea Party and all this nonsense started pushing. That's when these alt-right conservatives started getting going. What we need to understand is racism is the reason they put an underqualified moron in position to run the nation. But not only him. So are the senators. So is his administration. They're all unqualified. They're overconfident in themselves. They believe, and this is one of the problems with racism, it gives white people a false sense of superiority. 
It makes them believe in themselves more than they should. Sadly, a lot of black people fall into this as well. And this is the second reason that this is happening. We still don't understand our power. Malcolm X tried to get at us 50 years ago with a powerful speech called the ballot or the bullet. And he was explaining to us, we weren't ready. I'm just going to keep it real. We weren't ready to understand the power of our collectiveness. And this is an issue. We can't stick together when it matters. That has to change. And one of the reasons that I, I think we don't sit together is we don't believe. But this stimulus bill should show you. It should give you the belief to let you understand. If we stood together and we demand the Democratic Party do right by us, they will break us off with our money. We need, this is the third part. We need you sell out niggas. Excuse my language. Because I have a hard time with y'all. We need y'all to shut up. Cut out the, oh, they ain't never going to do it. They ain't, they don't, we know they don't want to do it. But you know what they want? They want our vote. When Willie D says they want something for nothing, that's what he's talking about. They want us to continue to put them in power. And we keep doing it. We know the conservatives ain't it. They ain't never going to do nothing for us. That's not the party we, 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 we looking at. What we looking at is the one party who try to pretend, but again, they use us to get in office and then they pass legislation for every group but us. That has to stop. We have to actually stand up and let our voices be heard and let them know, listen, you did this to yourselves, America. Get in the house, stay in the house, stay quarantined. Let them keep going out and catching this virus that seemed to be sent. Maybe you think it's a biological weapon or whatever, that's fine. But it seemed to be sent. The timing is interesting. There's so much hate and evil uh, and, e e and immoral nonsense going on in our country. Maybe this is happening for a real reason. Maybe there is a cleansing of the earth happening. Who knows? But what I do know is America is in shambles right now. We've never had to go through this in the last hundred years. And the reason why is because they've allowed their country to go off the rails with this hate and this racism. They refuse to make things right. Imagine for a moment, and I'm about to cut this short, but imagine for a moment if America did right by black people. Just imagine for a moment if we actually had jobs that paid people fair wages, if the wealth gap wasn't so wide, if, if a situation like this did occur, right? You know, we would all be at least financially stable enough to not trip for a couple weeks and we could stay inside without worrying about going back to work. Just all this stuff that, you know, you know again, they, they could have solved this by solving the inequality. But instead, we, we've allowed hate and racism to fester. We've allowed inequality to, to go on. And I say we because if you go to Willie D video, just look through the comments. It's a bunch of you knackers on there talking about, oh, they ain't going to do it. They'll never do it. Da, 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 da. And we need you naysayer knackers to shut up for a moment. For real. All we got to do is stick together. That's it. That's it. It's so simple. If you Even if you don't believe they'll do it, just shut your mouth and stick together. Move along with black people who are informed and understand, even if it's not you. Get alongside those who do get it, and you'll start to understand as you hang out with people who understand. This is what I'm trying to say. This stimulus package shows us that they can pass any bill whenever they want to and break folk off when they want to. But the problem is we don't stand together and demand it. That's all we got to do, y'all. We have to stand together and demand it. Look into ADOS. Go to ADOS101.com. Understand what a black agenda means. Understand what no vote, uh, uh, no black agenda, no vote. Understand that. Understand ballot or the bullet. Understand that. My, my, you know, my patience is run out with a lot of cats who continue to, to, to just get in the way of progress. And, and, and so don't come on this video with, with no nonsense, right? Um, but again, thank you for watching. I tried to keep this as short as I possibly could. I, you know, of course, could go on and on, but I'm going to cut it off there. Thank you for tuning in. And also, go to Willie D. Page. Uh, check this video out again on his page.
Okay, so you can see the comments and see what I'm talking about. Now, last thing I'm going to say in closing, change takes time. You know, the ADOS movement got going about maybe two years ago. And there's been a lot of hate coming from people who don't understand it. And I just want to clear two things up. Um, identifying who we are does not mean that we are excluding others. We, we know that ultimately everybody is black, but everybody don't have a claim on this. And that don't mean that, you know, we dislike anybody else. That's foolishness. What it means is we have to get ours, you know, and everybody else needs to understand that. You know, if your family wasn't enslaved here like mine was, this ain't your business. But let us get ours and understand something about us. This is something that, you know, again, I don't understand why cats like Talib, Kweli, and all these cats, they just, they, I don't understand it. Like, black people here in America lifted Talib up. We the reason that he became who he be, be uh, came. And yet when we started talking this ADOS stuff, he started getting with the Joy Ann Reeves, who's, whose ancestry is not ours. He started getting with all these people who, um, whose ancestry is not ours. And we need y'all to stop.